Okay, I'm back again this time with another Kings of War game. Uh, Kingdoms of Men vs Dwarves. Um, I'm trying something different this time. I've got two units of Horde out this time, just to see how they do. Um, obviously with the Horde I, I gain some real resistance and some anchoring units, but I lose the amount of units I've got for counter-attacking. Um, but I tried it, uh, just to give it a go, see what we think. So, this is my setup. Um, I've got mounted sergeants here, closest to, I'm working away from. Uh, mounted sergeants, uh, my foot guard, I've got my standard bearer behind a horde of uh, spear shield wall, um, a stone throw, which I'm just using as a mortar, and another horde of spear shield wall. Uh, I'm trying out the mortar this time, just to see if one war machine can be more effective than the ten archers I have. I have to say, at the end of this game, I did realise, even though my archers were only getting one or two hits on a unit, those one or two hits can cause checks, which can cause units to run away. Unfortunately, only hitting on fives, most of the time only hitting on sixes with the war machine, meant it was doing pretty much nothing throughout this battle and the following one. So, I think we'll be back in with my archers for an extra 25 points. So, my opponent, Jim, he's got uh, iron, ironclads, uh, organ gun, iron watch behind which he's got a standard who's got the healy charm. Um, that's really popular at the club at the moment, and I do see why. Uh, it does get irritating. Um, shield breakers, rangers, and behind the rangers is the iron guard. So I get first turn and move right up. Since I've got limited shooting, I want to get up as close as possible. Um, the cavalry are just going to try and go for those ranges there. That seems to be the weakest point on that flank. Uh, my horde just run forwards to try and get uh, to take some shots. I think I yeah fire with my stone thrower and actually hit on the first turn, but failed to cause the organ gun to run off. Um, after that, his standard bearer then heals him for the rest of the game. In my opponent's turn, he moves forwards to protect his war machines and uh, missile troops, and then releases his dogs, uh, which is quite good. They got a 12-inch range, so he's still out of range of me charging in at him. And I get away pretty lightly with just two wounds on my main unit. So in the next couple of turns, I move up to stay 10 inches away from him, um, so he can't charge me, but I can charge him. Second, well, on second thoughts, that was a bad idea because of course the dwarf can move two inch backwards and get out of my charge range, allowing him to shoot again. What I should have done is just got up there in his face and taken the charge. My units are big enough, they'd have been able to take a charge. If not, I then had the choice of um, what I wanted to charge afterwards. Um, I, the sh his shooting again is all combined on my centre unit, which is getting rather fragile now. Uh, the dice and tokens are stacking up there. So in my turn, I charge in with my mounted sergeants. Uh, I was pretty sure thing that I could break that small unit of ten uh, rangers, but uh, as luck would have it, I failed miserably. Now I'm going to get charged by the iron guard, and those mounted sergeants are out of it. Uh, along the rest of the line, I've moved up now to to know I'm going to get charged. Just get my um, my elite foot there, ready to counter charge, and hope my centre holds. But I'm not holding out too much from my main uh, horde unit. And the dwarves charge in, smashing apart my centre unit. Uh, we made a mistake here on what the angles are for charging. So as Iron Guard at the top there went into the front of my mounted sergeants. Um, we did it on the majority of the unit is in the front arc, but it's not. It's all reliant on the unit leader. Um, I make the same mistake in a minute with my uh, my elite foot. So it balances out in the end, but just good to know. Uh, yeah, so he charges and breaks my unit, which was kind of a bonus for me because he charged forwards with his um, iron watch, which meant I then had a gap through to which I can charge his standard bearer with my big horde. And if this works out well, I can charge my foot into the front of those shield breakers and um, the shield wall into the flank. So it's looking like this. Ah, uh, this, this looks ideal. I uh, simply start with the um, the horde, and because he's an individual, means I can get a d6 inch overrun, which should put me into those um, shield breakers relatively easy. So that's what 20, 40, 50 attacks under the shield breakers plus the 10 from the front for my foot guard. Now that's going to work out lovely. Also, I thought, yep, I managed to roll a double one for the uh, nerve check for the battle standard bearer, which means my horde was. 
bounced off him um, failed to go through and help out my other guys and my leap foot also then messed up with their 10 attacks hitting on 3's managed to get 2 through um, I think they both wounded which was a bonus so I managed to get 2 wounds on them but that was it so my best laid plans have gone right out the window here I was lucky there isn't too many options for counter charges at the moment on the flank my mounted sergeants were wavered so they couldn't do anything this turn um, what I did forget is they can back up and change facing and stuff. I keep forgetting that, I keep thinking wavered, you kind of lose your turn. There is stuff you can do. Not that a lot of it could have helped. Um, if I did, I'd probably just... Well, not really anything, really. No, there isn't anything that could help these guys. They were in a bad situation. So this is a quick overview at the end of my turn. As you can see, my horde's in a relatively safe area. Um, the only thing that can happen now is it can be shot at by the organ gun but there's no counter charges capable um, there's cross are facing towards my war machine um, yeah and there's dwarves facing forwards as well so they're, they're okay for a minute so I'll get one more charge in against the dwarves so my opponent's turn he charges in and mops up my uh, my dwindling sergeants there down on the flank turns to face and gets ready to, to uh, help in the middle um, my shield break, uh, my, my shield breakers, my opponent's shield breakers going against my foot guard and causes two casualties. And his organ gun opens up on my horde and causes a couple of casualties there as well. Um, I think he also maneuvers his dwarves now to face the rear of my horde. And my motor shoots and scores and then rolls double one after the uh, damage in that for their nerve check. I mean, I think I did enough wounds, I only need like three or four to break the um, archers there in front but nope, double one great and then in the combat I slaughter the um, shield breakers there with let's say the 50 attacks from my horde and uh, the attacks from the front as well, yeah I got rid of them um, I did panic a bit that I was going to roll another double one, be just my luck and get stuck there, but no, I was alright, I did break him um, I think I rolled a 3 or something because he got the re-roll which uh, did panic me for a second um, I turned around faced off against my opponents my um, I, uh, my my leap foot they faced off against the crossbowmen to try and chase them off and then in his, my opponent's turn he runs away with his crossbowmen so not to get chased off um, his organ gun opened fire on my horde wipes it out so I'm just down left now with my war machine my standard bearer and my elite foot. So yep, the game's over for me, I'm afraid. And that's how the game ends. Yeah, that was pretty brutal. I did like my hordes, they held up well. Uh, I just don't, just don't have enough units to try and outflank or counterattack or go for bits I want to go for, that's the only problem. Um, I'm, I've got one more game to come now. Um, again, with my hordes against this dwarf player, we've got two games in. Um, just to see what would happen. I think I might take one horde, it did attract a lot of fire and it would save the rest of my units, that's for sure. So again, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, uh, more to come, uh, I've got another quick battle report coming up against these dwarves again, and uh, I'll see you next time, farewell us.